All right, so I had a crazy idea. Can I train AI in my voice, send a voice memo to my wife and her not know that it's actually not me? Let's find out. So first thing we're gonna do is come to Handy Dandy 11 Labs, which I think is definitely one of the top, top voice. They do a lot of stuff, text to speech, voice changers, voices, sound effects is a newer thing, agents. I actually just set up an agent recently on my website, which is cool, like a, a chat. Hey there, what can I do for you? A voice chat agent of myself. I won't go into detail of that. But so if we come here, I've already got some voices trained. Like I've already trained my own voice. If you have not done that yet, you can do that with 11 Labs. This is my professional voice clone, and I'm going to show you how to quickly create an instant voice clone. Go to voices, click add a new voice, here you'll see several options to create an AI voice, but for now we're gonna pick the instant voice clone option. Give your AI voice clone a name. In this window, you need to upload a series of audio files recorded with your real voice. These recordings should be as high quality as possible. The more samples you add, the more accurate the voice clone will be. I recommend using WAV files for the best audio quality. Once the samples are uploaded, you'll have the option to remove background noise. However, it's best to ensure your recordings are made in a quiet environment to avoid introducing artifacts or audio errors into the clone. Label your voice clone to make it easier to find in your library and add a description. It's crucial that you own the rights to the voice you're cloning. Do not clone someone else's voice without their explicit permission. All right, click add voice and wait for the clone to be generated. It now appears at the top of your list. Click use and the text to speech interface will open. Click generate and that's it. Howdy. You now have an AI generated audio file using your instant voice clone. If you get a paid plan and the, the higher plan, you get more training data. So like you're able to train on like 30 minutes of data from your voice, which actually makes for a better quality output. Let's create a new project, quality, standard. Looks like I can't even do any higher quality than this, no problem. So it all depends on what plan you're on. All right, so we're gonna use my voice, my pre-trained voice, and that's this one right here. It's like, there's different ones. All right, hey, so are example, you looking for a fresh and engaging voice for your podcast? Yeah, Anna, One of these of being disorderly is me, constantly Hope, making Anna. exciting discoveries. All right, cool, so here's me. For more information on outdoor activities around Mobile, check out the related video. So the question is, can I trick my wife? Well, let's find out. Hey, hey babe. babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. So we'll regenerate again. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. All right, so let's see. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. A little too much energy there. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. Too robotic. Hey, babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. That's pretty good. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. The little tonation there is probably a little off. Now, so if I want to, I can come over here and I can adjust with these. Style exaggeration, probably not a good idea, but more stable, would probably get a little more boring similarity. Let's go 46%. Now, let's keep that one. That one seemed pretty good. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. I love you, I wouldn't do that. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. All right, so I'm gonna do this forever. Out of these two, we'll pick one. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. I feel like that's not what we had earlier, but that's okay. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. I think we go with it. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. I think we go with it. Let's go with it. Let's download this file. Brooks, love from Andy. All right, so we're gonna download that file. All right, so what I'm gonna do is come over here to my text messages. I, I do text messages on the screen half the time. It connects through my, through my phone. I don't know if it'll show her the file name. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna change it to just say, hey babe. It's a little robotic at the end. So actually, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how closely she listens to it, right? So that's the question, is she listening for me being robotic or is she just like, just hits play and just goes for it? All right, let's find out. Hey babe, just wanted to tell you I love you. All right, so you guys hang out. We'll see what happens. If you wanna see how I'm using these voices in my projects, if you go to destroy that box or if you Google my name, Brooks Conkle, and end up on my newsletter, you could sign up for my newsletter. And I'm talking about this stuff every week. For example, this next week, you'll probably see the title of my email be how I fooled my wife with my AI voice. Dude, look at this. Oh, I love you too. She didn't know. She thought it was me. It's crazy. This is the worst.
the technology's ever going to be. My robot voice will only get better and better and be more like me or more like other people. Implications of this are crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, I'll put a link to 11 Labs below. See you guys in the next one.